Welcome to this video on basic addition. If addition is not basic for you, no need to worry. You'll be up and running in no time and adding real numbers. So what do you need to do in order to add and use basic addition? Well, the most simplest form is a one plus one equals two. If you relate this to the real world, that's like one object plus another object equals two objects. And the objects can be anything. So let's take a look how this works and you'll get a better feel for it. So if we have one plus one, that's gonna equal two. So it's pretty straightforward. You have one object, actually let me go ahead and make this a little clearer for you. You have one object plus another object equals two objects. So pretty straightforward. It's like if you take yourself as an object and then you're hanging out with your best friend, that's another object. You both are people, but you're also objects. So one person plus another person equals two people. Very simple, straightforward. Let's relate this to, let's say, apples. If you're going to the grocery store and you're real hungry and you pick up one apple and then you decide, you know what? I'm, I'm even hungrier than I thought. And you pick up a second apple. That's going to give you two apples. Again, this being one object. This being another object. And then ultimately equals two. So you have one apple here plus another apple here equals two apples. All right, now what happens if it's always not a one-to-one -one type of situation? What about if you say, say you decide you're not really a big fan of red apples today and you decide I like, uh, I'm liking green apples and you go with four green apples and three red apples. So you go with the, you go with the simple addition of four plus three. Well, that's pretty easy too. Let's take a look how this works. So if we come and we look, you're going to see that we have four apples plus another three apples is going to give us how many apples? Well, what you could do, you could do something real easy. You could count how many apples that you see on the screen. You could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now you know you have seven apples. So the, the, the problem would look like this. It would look four green, green apples plus three red apples. That equals seven apples. Again, very simple, straightforward. I'm going to write this a little bit neater for you. And we're going to four, so that this comes down to four plus three is equal to seven. All right. Now, if you want to actually relate this to something like, let's say a number line and, you know, get rid of the real world objects, this is real easy to do too. So all you're going to be doing on a number line is you're going to be hopping. You're going to be starting at your first position and then hopping to your next position. And as always, what we do in, on a number line is we start from zero or we start from the number that we're working with and you hop at what the other number is in whatever direction. So let's just go ahead and see how this works and you'll get the hang of it. Right now, zero is always home base, so to speak. But let's say we had, let's say we had our green apples and we had four green apples and then we had, let's see, we had three red apples. So in order to get to our red apples and to get our total number of apples, we're going to hop three spaces. So we go one, two, three. So we have four green apples, hop three times on the number line, and that's going to give us seven apples. So now we have seven apples in total. Now, 
Also, let's think about this if it was backwards. Let's say we had something like 3 plus 4 instead of the 4 plus 3 that we just did. Well, you can do this the exact same way. Let me go ahead and clear this. And what you're going to see is now, if we go with our red apple, or if we go with our red apples instead of our green ones first, we start out at three because we start out with three right here, and then we go add four more to that. So we hop on the number line one, two, three, four times, and we end up right here. Again, we still have seven apples. So no matter which way you do it, which number you start with, in addition, it's always going to be the same. This one is equal to 7, as this one is also equal to 7. So again, this is very straightforward process. Nothing terribly difficult about this. If you need more help, feel free to visit us at YouTube forward slash user forward slash Fredricate, or visit us at fredricate.com for more conversations and information into its basic edition. Again, I appreciate your time. We'll see you next time.